Hey guys, welcome to another video about Russian Fishing 4. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about making the most important decision of uh, Russian Fishing 4, and that is what type of fisherman do you want to be? Uh, this game offers you different types of uh, fishing styles that you can pursue. Um, but in order for you to play the game as you like, you need to make up your mind. Uh, if we press O, we go to the skill tree. Now, and here you guys can already see we've got six different types of things standing over here and here we've got our money. So uh, I've not spent any money on, on gear yet because I needed to know what type of fisherman woman, in my case, I wanted to be. So what can we choose from? Well, we've got bobber fishing and once we've unlocked this at 25% we can actually swap over to match rod fishing. So bobber fishing is first just with a, a static or with a telescopic rod with no reel attached to it. Later on match fishing means that you do have a reel attached to it. Um, so that unlocks at level at 25%. Uh, currently we are at 1.6% so we are stuck with bobber fishing. Now, if you are not interested in bobber fishing or fishing with uh, a match rod, you could opt for going spin fishing. Now, if you want to do uh, using jig hats, uh, spinners, spoons, uh, but also jerk bait and stuff like that, then this is a skill tree that you're after. Last but not least, if you want to do bottom fishing and feeder fishing, then this most definitely is what you want to choose. Um, so that is uh, this one. Now we are left with uh, three more skills that you can uh, can progress and level up in. And these are this one is uh, making your own bait, as in, uh, for instance, that uh, quarter of bread that we tear apart and we make bread balls out of it. Um, but also, if you dig in the ground with a shovel and uh, you get worms out of it, that is what uh, this means. Making your own ground bait. That is this skill tree and then finally we've got this one over here which means crafting and that is uh, the making of your own spinners and spoons and so forth and so on so um, but for us uh, at this stage it's important to decide okay so what are we going to choose for um, because every time you level you get a skill point that you can put in one of these trees you can obviously also put in crafting and, and in getting your bait and, and uh, ground bait. But first, of course, we want to get better at the style that we prefer. So say, for instance, you want to go with bobber fishing. Then you click on it. Now over here, we've got 14 things that we can choose out of. But 12 of those are all uh, still locked. This one is actually the highest. It needs to be unlocked at 100%. Um, I must say, I've not translated every single one of these uh, for the simple reason that it is too much work at this moment for me to do it. Uh, also, because this game will be available in English uh, in roughly a month or two from uh, from now. Um, and because it goes a bit slow, I don't think that by the time they've translated it all, I will already be at 100%. I don't think so. Um, but these two are open to us in uh, bobber fishing. So here we have a skill uh, or, or a tree that we can put a skill point in here. It shows that we've got one because we leveled up to level two. Um, and this actually means casting out further by 5% and casting more precise by 3%. Uh, if we put a point in here, then the next one will unlock. So then if we level up to say level uh, 3, then we get another skill point that we can put in here and then so forth and so on until we reach that one. Which means that we can cast further out by 35% and that we can uh, aim more precise for 21%. This is a good one to start with and to put your points in if you want to do uh, match fishing and bobber fishing mostly. Now, uh, this is also already unlocked, and this is actually how you handle your gear. Uh, how, how you, um, let's say it, uh, it will actually increase your skill with the gear. So it increases 5%, 10%, and eventually 15%. Now, once we reach well, 25%, uh, skill wise in here, it does not mean 25 points. 
uh, it means 25% skill wise. This one unlocks, and this is Bolognese. Uh, I'll talk to you uh, about that in in a second. This is actually the match rod, match rods that unlock then. Uh, every point that you put in this one, uh, in this one, will automatically be placed uh, on the match rods as well. So it does not mean that these points in here, in these two trees first, only go for the regular bobber uh, fish, uh, fishing rods. But it also, once you unlock this one, it will also uh, mean that those skill points uh, go for the match rods as well. So that is that. Then over here, we have the spinning. Uh, here, first up, uh, second up, sorry, uh, it means that casting out further by 5% and more precise by 3% our aim. And uh, this one is the way that we handle our gear, uh, increasing in percentage. This one I actually have no idea. Um, I have not opted for spin fishing yet on my other account, so I actually do not know what this means um, I will do separate videos about spin fishing and a separate video about feeder fishing and a separate video about bobber fishing and so forth and more into detail as uh, as I progress on my accounts so then I will uh, discuss this one as well but my first uh, suggestion would be to put this point in either this one casting out further and more precise or this one handling your gear and then uh, last but not least of course we've got feeder fishing and here it's two this one is about gear this one i'm also not very sure about i do see another five percent ten percent fifty percent but it got another wall of text underneath here um this one i will get translated as well or translate it myself uh, and i'll talk about this particular uh skill in the in the the, the tree skill tree uh in the uh, feeder fishing uh, but here it also is again casting out 5% further and with 3% uh, increased in aiming. So once you've decided which of these you want to do, then of course it is time to go to the shop and to start spending your money. Now when uh, you start, you already start with a bobber fishing rod. And like I said, you need to have the skill unlocked at 25% before you can swap over to the match rods which are Bolognese. Now a Bolognese, um, for those of you who have no idea, they are actually uh, derived from Italy uh, and it just means that you can, uh, you have a longer rod that they used back in Italy to reach the wider rivers and the lakes. So they could, they could actually fish underneath, right underneath the top of the tip of their uh, rod. Right underneath it too. So, um, but they also a great beneficial thing to Bolognese rods is that you can uh, put a uh, reel onto it. So uh, these are your first match rods. And then later on, uh, now let me scroll down a bit. It was not the Corona. Uh, not those, those are feeder fishing. And don't think it was the pickers. Uh, later on, you also here have these match rods. Now, here you can already see, and by the way, with those match rods as well, uh, some rods, for instance here, uh, just here, your starting rod, if you got this eye around with the eye in it, you hover over it, you get the information. Uh, and by the way, also, if you press the eye button on here, you get information over there. But here with the Bolognese, you can see that it's in orange, and that means that you do not meet the requirements yet. So, of course, obviously, I'm level 2, I'm not at 25% in bobber fishing, so I cannot uh, meet uh, these requirements. So, they, that's why they're in orange. Um, so, that is, uh, is for match fishing. You first have to level up uh, with your telescopic rod, with your telestick before uh, and earn money that is, uh, is also a thing before you can purchase these uh, bolognese now the starting price is 59 silver and that is just for the rod so you still need a reel uh the reel here i would suggest to start with the express fishing spark uh you need line as well uh just just pick a pick the super line i'd say and then you need a hook and, and stuff like that Alrighty. um now, if you do not want to do bobber fishing, match fishing, but say you want to do spin fishing, then this is what you can already start purchasing. 
Uh, so that is the Express Fishing Corona, which is 1950. Um, and uh, here it says a, a throwing weight between 10 and 30 grams. It's 1.8 meters long. It can handle up to 4.3, 4.5 kilogram, and that obviously is uh, is important. I'll tell you guys later on. And it has a turtle uh, lure weight. Uh, no, bait weight of 172 grams. Uh, this confuses me a bit because I'm not sure if that is a lure weight or if this shows the lure weight. Um, anyways, uh, this is what you want to purchase first. The Corona S60MH. Uh, and then with that comes the reel. Now, pick up this one. This one is, can hold up to 3 kilograms. So you need that one. Obviously, then you need line. And because you're doing... Uh, spin fishing you need braided line now over here. We've got braided These three we've got green gray and blue. I myself prefer green however They come with 10 pounds Now if I am to check the other ones they are 10 pounds as well that start with and they have actually a weight of 4.5 kilograms So this is not the ideal setup when you start spin fishing um, but you do need braided line. So uh, put this one on first, but do keep in mind uh, that uh, if you uh, start to fish, uh, do not set your drag too high. Otherwise, instead of breaking your line, you'll break your reel because your reel will actually be the weakest link. Later on, I'll talk uh, more about how to do a right setup and stuff like that. But I just want to show you guys uh, what you need to purchase if you once you've made up your mind in, in what to do. So, uh, super bright line, uh, go with green or go with uh, grey or, or with blue, whatever you prefer. I myself prefer green. Uh, once you've done that, it's obviously time to get a, a spinners and spoons. Now, I must say, I have tested these spinners. Um, I actually had this one, uh, Fury T06. Uh, it didn't do the job for me. I've got no idea as to why. What did do the job for me was this one, the Express Fishing Tiny Spoon, and then I had number 11, this one, the silver one. This one worked great. It's actually on my, on my uh, other account. So get yourself this one, it's uh, 190. Uh, bobbers you won't need, you won't need hooks because you got the rest of it. Uh, you could opt for a sinker, maybe this one uh, is good for... Uh, no, actually, no, you do not need a sinker. Uh, we do not need bait as well. You do need a leader. Just pick this one. The first one, uh, 1.20. That is more than enough. That is not needed. Uh, that is uh, not needed. So, um, for your spin fishing, it is the Express Fishing Corona with the Express Fishing Spark with braided line and... Then with uh, express uh, a fishing tiny spoon. Now, obviously, if you, for instance, would prefer this one because you think it looks fancier, or one of these, uh, by all means, go ahead. Uh, I've not got hundreds of hours in this game yet to tell you uh, with uh, for certainty. All right, this works, this doesn't, or this only works under that type of weather conditions. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you also need uh, the uh, steel uh, uh, leader. That is what you need as well. All right, uh, if you're not interested in match fishing, bobber fishing, if you're not interested in spin fishing, but you definitely want to go after after the uh, feeder fishing, then this is where you need to go. Uh, this funny looking, oh, uh, I it's, uh, do not know how to express it or how to pronounce it, I mean, but Express Fishing Sorrento, Ooh, that is the one that you need. So here you got the Sorrento FD100 and it goes up to FD130. This one, uh, the only difference is uh, the size and length. Uh, but get this one. That is, uh, is where I will start with when you do feeder fishing. Now, of course, you need a reel as well. Express Fishing Spark is where you would start with. Uh, even though it cannot handle a lot, but it is the cheapest. Uh, next up you need line. Now for uh, feeder fishing you never put braided line on a reel. The reason uh, you need monofilament line is because monofilament has uh, elasticity. 
in it. Whereas braided line has none. So once you hook a carp on it, the line cannot uh, stretch enough and you'll break your line 9 times out of 10 when you're using braided. So do not do that. Go with monofilament line. So use the Express Fishing Super Line or uh, if you want to go fancy, fancy with, with a bit more power, this one. Uh, but your reel must be able to handle it. So a uh, monofilament line for feeder fishing that we do not need that we uh, Do need a bobber so you get a bobber uh, Next up you need hooks now if you want to do carp in particular These hooks are better. They are more curved than these So the one that has a little curve for instance here, the Siberian one uh, see HK201 that is actually a good one for carp fishing and uh, these ones are as well but as you guys can see prices go up already uh, so but for carp fishing uh, pick that one you can all just start with the, with the first uh, first uh, hooks um, and moving on of course you need sinkers you need lead on it uh, I would go with the pear shape and then the 30 gram for the Sorrento feed fishing rod uh, the rod itself already gives the info by the way as well Let me scroll down a bit. Where are you? Uh, no, that is Corona. That's not on any but over here You can see that it can between 20 and 100 gram So that is the amount of light that you need make sure that you stay in between those so uh, The 15 is not good enough, but the 30 definitely is So that is what you need and uh, next up uh, of course baits uh, you can get yourself uh, baits from here uh, you can start up with uh, potato pieces uh, you can use corn dough with corn you do get the bigger carp and in the beginning your gear cannot handle it yet so uh, be very careful with corn when you're using corn then uh, you can put a leader on it uh, not necessary but can uh, can do that uh, these feeders are only available once you reach a level 12 uh, not sure if that goes for all but you need to reach a certain level before you can put the feeders on it uh, here we've got method feeders uh, that is level 16 yeah that's also level 16 uh, so you can't purchase these uh, at the moment and then of course you need ground bait now with ground bait first off you need the first attractor You're actually mixing two types of say uh, dough with each other uh, some are Locked for instance this one you need to be level 12 and you need to have uh, the Ground bait skill at 60% I think that is what it says there uh, some dough already got the white uh, a rounded eye behind it. So this one says Simolina and this one over here says ground crackers and Those are the two that you can choose from. I, I would suggest ground crackers By the way, so that is the first one then you need a second one that is over here and You got three flavors that you can choose from and you know, obviously there's a whole list But three that are available in the beginning. That is millet porridge That is corn and that is blood worms over here. Now, if you want to do carp, I definitely suggest the corn one once again. And finally, you also need a liquid attractor. And here again, some are locked, some are unlocked. This one is sunflower, and, and this one over here is caramel, and then this one was vanilla. So that is what you need, and uh, not this. So uh, that is what you need for ground fishing or oh, for for feeder uh, feeder fishing now, if you want to do make ground baits let me actually see uh, click on this one on the bucket then you click on that one you select your first ground bait the ground ground crackers the second one over here that was the one with the corn that I advised and then the third one this is the liquid attractor and uh, you can do uh, vanilla or was it millet porridge or caramel whatever you desire click on that click on this one it's the exact same thing as when you make uh, when you take a loaf of bread and crumble it into small uh, balls of bread you just click that button you will get that icon again appearing 
uh, that it is working on it. And if you succeeded, you get a green message. If you did not succeed, you get a red message and you have to do it again. Um, I'll go more into ground bait and all the kind of stuff uh, in later videos where I'll describe on how uh, uh, or I'll go more into detail about feed fishing. Um, but for now, this is uh, what you need to know. So I think that is it. So once you've made up your mind, uh, skill-wise, you uh, put the skills in it, the points in it. So every time you level, you get one skill point. And with every fish that you land, or with every worm that you dig out of the ground, or with every bread that you crumble, or with every... Uh, Every time you make ground bait, your skill will go up. So that is what uh, what you need to know. For now, um, yeah, I I know that this this might be a bit of uh, a lot of info, and uh, it actually is. This game is so detailed; it is uh, it is quite unbelievable. I must say, this game is also very 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 realistic. Um. If you want to go after a certain type of fish, just just last piece of info that I'm uh, throwing out to you guys. If you want to go after a certain type of fish here in game, now mind this is uh, Russian, a Russian fishing game with Russian lakes only, so you get only European Russian fish. But say for instance you want to go after carp, but you've got no clue as what to do. Google carp or go to Wikipedia. Uh, type in carp and read what it says. They actually put all real life information on how to catch a certain type of fish into this game. So for instance if it says that you can find uh, on Wikipedia or on Google or whatever page you're, you're looking at or if you've got a book about fish and uh, you're reading, if it says for instance, okay so carp like to live underneath lily pads. They're mostly active in the mornings and they're mostly active in the evenings. Um, when the sun is up, they swim higher in the water. They're more close towards the surface than when it's raining, for instance. Stuff like that. Take that into the account and take it into the game. Use it. Because that is definitely uh, what is, is happening. This game is so realistic is that a lot of stuff that you do in real life applies to this game as well. Alright guys, that's it for now. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, there's so much to learn about this game. And it's, uh, I fish in real life and, and um, I uh, do some active carp fishing uh, and uh, panfish or whitefish. Uh, so uh, the roaches, the bream, uh, eyed, that kind of stuff. And then I also do active predator fishing. So it means that I'm, I've never done feeder fishing, for instance. I've never done the true match rod fishing. Uh, I do pen fish for carp, but I don't think that's truly really match rod fishing. Um, uh, I've never fished with uh, uh, dead baits or how to create your own dead bait and stuff like that, you know. So there's a whole lot of stuff that I've got to learn as well. Luckily we've got time. So yeah guys, I will be making a whole bunch of videos and, and cover uh, Russian fishing for uh, from head to toe. And I hope you guys are going to like the journey uh, as much as I do. Alright folks, that's it for now. <laughs> I'll stop babbering uh, and jabbering about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, feel free to uh, post them below. Uh, for today, I will stop making videos. Uh, like I said, I need to learn a lot about this game. More videos will come up later in this week. Uh, most likely first day. First day I'll make uh, make more videos. Uh, in between, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll also be live playing Russian Fishing 4 on Twitch. Do not forget to uh, to pay me a visit there and say hello. Alright guys. That's it for now. All details can be found uh, below this video. And I'll see you next time again. Bye bye for now. See ya.